Hi, I want to teach you how to determine the units, really important, for the rate constant. Remember, rate constant is K. I said this in a couple of other videos, but it's worth repeating. Uh, looking at 20 years worth of FRQs from AP, whenever they have asked for the value of K, the number of K, they've always asked for the unit, except for one time. Except for one time, they always asked for the unit. And the unit, giving the correct unit, was always worth one point. So it is totally worth your time to know how to figure out units. Now, first thing that I want to do is review what's the overall order for each of these rate laws. So let's do overall order because what you're going to discover is the unit for K will always be that particular unit for that particular order. Um, so here, it's understood to be a one right there. This would be a first order. And remember, use the original number uh, term on that. A is understood to be a one. B is understood to be a one. So that'd be first order times uh, plus first order. One plus one is a second order. And then here, uh, oh, and remember on this, that could be the same thing as K times A to the second order. That would also be a second order. Um, next, ray equals K times the concentration of A to the second order, B to the first order. So two plus one would be our third order. Now, you could have had a um, one right here and a two right here, also third order. I could have had um, that one and the one, and then we could have a C like that. One plus one plus one is three. That would all, the, all those examples would be a third order. Um, and then let's look at this last one. Ray equals K times the concentration of A to the second order times B to the second order, two plus two, that is going to be a fourth order. And of course, a lot of different ways that that could be written. And you know how to count overall order. Okay, unit. Um, I will have my students do the units apart from the numbers. So you know that rate always has to be concentration over time. So the rate here is going to be molarity per second. Now you'll be told it could be molarity per minute, molarity per hour, year, um, usually molarity per second. But it's always molarity concentration over time equals some unit right here. Remember, that's going to be for your K times, and then whatever you have here. Um, this is, remember those brackets? Those are, that uh, indicates always molarity. So this is going to be molarity, and that is to the one. So I look at this and I think, what do I need right here? This unit times molarity gives me molarity per second. Well, I need one over second. Check that out. One times molarity gives me molarity. This is understood to be over a one. Second times one is second. Molarity per second, molarity per second. So on this, the K is one over second. It's going to be per second. Now, little connection here. You've done nuclear chemistry. Um, all of our nuclear decay is first order. That is why the K is always per second, always per second. Because of this, the rate law right there, kind of a cool connection. Okay, let's do the unit for a second order reaction. Again, let's write down the units. So rate, we're going to have molarity per second equals some unit for K times the A is going to be molarity to the one and here we have molarity, our b to the one. Now remember, when you multiply the bases, you add the exponents. So that would just be molarity squared, okay? That would be molarity squared. So I'm thinking, okay, what do I need here? So I end with one molarity on top and a second on the bottom, the denominator. Um, I put a one here um, because I've got to get rid of a molarity. If I put a molarity in the denominator, check it out. Molarity will cancel molarity and I'll have one molarity, one molar left. I still need a second times second. So there's my unit. It is going to be one over molarity times second. And let's do the math. Let's actually do the math so you can see it. Molarity cancels with that molarity. One times molarity, and then second on the bottom, molarity per second. Nice. Um, now, I wanna pause a second. Don't memorize these. Don't memorize those. Be able to figure it out. So on your own, go ahead, calculate the K value. Watch that video if you need to figure out, uh, learn how to calculate the actual number, the value of K. 
Um, but then take a second and do this exactly. Write out the units and figure out that unit for k. Don't memorize this. You can figure it out. I, I memorize as little as possible. I don't want a lot of stuff in my brain. I want to be able to figure it out. Okay, let's do a third order. We've got molarity per second equals, okay, some unit, k, right there, times molarity, that square times molarity. Okay, I need to end with just one, one molarity. So that means I may have to put molarity squared on the bottom. That molarity squared will cancel that one, and I'll end with one molarity. And then second, I need that on the bottom. So this will be one over molarity squared times second. Let's check the math. Molarity squared cancels one times molarity. There's your molarity, and then the second right down there. They're the same molar, molarity per second. Okay, last one. This is a fourth order. So again, my rate has to be molarity per second. What unit do I need here to adjust units and end with molarity per second? Um, my concentration of A, that's squared. So it's gonna be molarity squared. And then here, that's going to be a molarity squared. Remember, add exponents, two plus two is four. But I only need one, I need one molarity. So this will be molarity cubed times second. Let's check the math on this. Um, actually, let me write it down first so you can see it really clean. Molarity cubed times second. So I only need one molarity up here. The squared and one of those will cancel those three molars, those three molarities. So both of those m's, one m here, that leaves me one m, and so we'll have one times molarity, because I only have one of those left now, and then the second carries over. So molarity per second, molarity per second. There's your unit, there's your unit. And you will find, again, that every time you have a third overall rate reaction, the K value is always one over molarity squared times second. It's always per molarity squared times second. Um, again, don't memorize it. You can figure it out right here. You can do this, do a little bit of practice. You can figure that out. Um, last thing that I want to point out, sometimes you will see this on tests um, and I don't want it to throw you. Remember, molarity, big M, is moles per liter, okay? So we could actually break this apart. I'm going to rewrite this if I break that apart. Um, that would be molarity squared divided by liter squared. So then you have a fraction divided by a fraction. You reciprocate and multiply. This will look like it's the same thing as this. Liter squared divided by molarity squared times second. That is the same thing. If I were to rewrite this, it would be liter divided by mole times second. And here we'd have liter cubed divided by mole cubed times second. Same thing. It's just um, the writer breaking apart molarity into moles per liter. So when I see that, I will rewrite it. If I see like a liter cubed divided by a mole cubed times second, I will rewrite it right away. I know, oh, that's just molarity in the denominator. I'll rewrite it molarity cubed times second. I think it's just a little cleaner. But AP, this is how they'll write it. Um, IB, that's how they'll write it. Um, so no, it's the same thing. You can just rewrite it so it's, it's cleaner. Okay, good work. You're doing awesome. Have a happy day. Thanks.